Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thanks so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have the blend box to share with you, which I have opened a couple of times here on my channel, but just in case this is your first time seeing it, let me explain. The blend box is a little bit different because you basically get to choose your own own themes. So when you first subscribe, there's a checklist and you select all of the themes that you're interested in. You actually get to pick your first month's theme, but from there on out, it's going to be a surprise, but it's always going to be from that pre-selected list. The blend box is very affordable. It's just $28.45 per month. And I do actually have some codes to save you some money. So if you would like to do a three month or longer subscription, you can use the code Noel to save $5. Or if you just want to go month to month, you can use Noel too, and that will save you $2 on on your first box. Now when you do get the subscription it always starts with a base of eight items but there are many opportunities to add additional items to your box whether you are leaving a positive review or participating in the Facebook group by saying what your favorite item was in your last box or answering different questions. The Facebook group is also where you do a lot of customization in terms of your personal preferences so you can say what your favorite jewelry tones are if there's any kind of jewelry items you'll never use uh, what your favorite colors are, what your birthstone is. So every box is really going to be personalized to you. And that said, it means that no matter what the theme is, your box is going to look different from someone else's. So even if I get the llama box and you get the llama box, we could have all different items. There could be a little bit of overlap. You never know. So this box is sent to me for review and also in exchange for some photos that I take for Instagram. So I will probably have well over eight items in this particular box, but it is a good example of the different items that you might receive. So let's get into it and see exactly what the theme is for this month. So it just comes in a nice simple box with just some stickers, not like major, major branding, which I appreciate that she doesn't spend a lot on that. And then I'm guessing just because of all the gold and yellow that it might be the bee and butterfly theme because I know that was maybe next on my list and I did mention that I would be excited to get that. So I do have a nice little handwritten note here from Nick, which is exciting. And it does say, P.S. Couldn't resist adding some pineapple earrings for you because she knows that I absolutely love pineapples. And Nick is also the one that pointed out that pineapples are not just a symbol of hospitality, but apparently they're also a sign for swingers, which I am not, 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 no judgment there, but I do still love pineapples no matter what. So that's kind of like our little like ongoing joke whenever she sees pineapples now, she thinks of me which is fine. I'm fine ha being associated with pineapples. So that would probably not appear in your Bee and Butterfly box. But let me just pull those out. They are super duper cute. I actually don't have very many pineapple earrings, you guys. I know that's probably surprising if you've been watching my channel for a while, but look how cute those are. They're just like bright and fun and dangly and I will totally be wearing those. So thanks, Nick. Like the little extra bonus. I really do appreciate it. All right, you guys, so it does in fact look like it is the bee and butterfly box, which I'm not like a huge like butterfly person, but lately I've been really into bees, not just in the spring season, but I just think they're so cute. And as we know, they're like really important to the environment and our world's health. So let's see what we've got. Now, the first thing is adorable. It's just a little enamel pin and it says be kind. So hopefully you can see that. That is so, so cute. And I have been getting so many different pins in different subscription boxes. And you guys have inspired me to either start a pin board or maybe like a bag that I can start to put all of these pins on because I do want to display them, but I do think they're super cute. All right. So let's see what else we've got. Oh, this is actually really pretty. So you can see it's a gold necklace and it's just a little bee on like a honeycomb. And I just think that would actually look really great on the skin because obviously those like those little hexagons are clear so you could see your skin through it. And then you can see that cute little bee that's kind of offset. I love that it's not totally in the center. So I actually think that's really pretty. Super cool. 
And then what else have we got? So this is a little sachet. She put a little note on it because I got a sachet in the last box and I couldn't tell if it was just like for drawers because it didn't have like a super strong scent. But here it is and she actually has it in a little plastic baggie but I'm gonna pull it out so that you guys don't get a ton of glare. But these are just like, they look like sugar packets but they're actually just little sachets to uh, kind of zhuzh up the scent of a little small space. So these are great for drawers obviously. But this one I actually smell a lot more and so this is tulips which definitely goes with the like bee theme right all the little flowers so I'm into that and then I don't know what these are but they are adorable so I think they're little like stickers like three-dimensional stickers and there's ladybugs and bees you guys like look how cute those are. I don't know what I'll put them on, but I'm going to put them on something and I will definitely be featuring these over on Instagram. How cute. I think these would be so cute on like little boxes. You could even just put them on cards. Those are so sweet. I love them. They look like they're hand painted too. Super cute. So far, really happy. Got another necklace. This time it's in silver. Gold is my preferred tone, but I do wear some silver as well. And this one's really pretty. I do like these kind of like window pieces of jewelry where they've kind of put an image behind the glass dome to give it a little bit more dimension. So it's just a bee kind of moving away from a flower and that is really pretty. It's kind of got that like antique feeling to it. Oh, this is exciting. I definitely saw this as a sample. And I like that it's mixed metal tones. So hopefully you can see that it's a bracelet and it's got silver honeycombs and then the B is actually in gold. So there you can see it. And it's nice because it looks like it's actually going to fit my wrist. Maybe a little bit big, but I can probably flatten it out. So it's just got this little hook and you can see the honeycomb kind of hinges. And so you can hook it there. Now, if you had to, you could probably hook it further over. Yep. To make it a little bit smaller. So that's kind of cool. And another really neat piece, which would totally like go with the necklace. But at the same time, it's great because it goes with both silver and gold. So I do like this. And then we've got some masking tape. It says in honeycomb, it came in like a little box. So I'm guessing it's like a washi tape. It just says light up your life. And of course I totally can't open it. So let's see if I can, <laughs> I've already mangled the box trying to open it. I don't know why these boxes are like so hard for me to get open. Oh, this is gorgeous washi tape. <laughs> I think it's so funny that it actually says masking tape on here. So I'm just gonna like give up on the box, like making it. Oh, but it has like, the box is like one of those dispensers, you guys see where you can actually like pull it out from the side. Oops, there you go. But I think I can like live without it being the dispenser, but look how pretty the washi tape is. I had to pull it out so you guys could see. So it's got the honeycombs and it's like every once in a while there's like a pink one or a solid gold one, like gold foil. I think that's really, really pretty. How nice, I will have to try to tape this back together so that it works as a dispenser. Oops, it's okay, I have tons of like washi tape that's just like free in rolls like this. This is like my favorite box I think so far. <laughs> um, looks like we've got some little like nail stickers, which these are like very bright. I'm not sure that I would necessarily use them, but here we go. But at the same time, our nail salons are closed right now, so might have to make it work but you're kind of limited on sizes. And I've realized because I have tried some nail stickers that I actually have like very, not necessarily long fingernails. I have like deep nail beds, but I have like very broad nails. So like, I always think like, oh, I've got these little like tiny pinky nails. And then I select like the narrowest sticker and it totally doesn't go all the way across my nail. So I need those strips of these nail stickers that have lots of different options. Also, I never like get it right the first time. Like it takes a little practice with those. So then we've got a honey face mask. I knew we had to get something with honey in it, right? So this is great. I was like looking and trying to like decipher the instructions on the back. Good thing we pretty much know how to use sheet masks, right? But that looks nice, very, very fancy. And then we have a little bobby pin with a very shiny gold bee. I think I can get him to focus. 
So you guys know that I do actually sort of like these. I've been using them a little bit more to kind of pin the hair back. If you do it on this side, it gives you that like kind of schoolgirl look, but if you do it on the shorter side that's already sort of pulled back, I do think it's kind of a nice, elegant accent. And then certainly if I have my hair like up in a bun or something, it's a great little little decoration. And then it looks like we got a fun butterfly garland in two shades of blue, like a darker aqua and a lighter one. So I'll definitely be using this for over on Instagram. And then, oh, these are cute. So they're like little wood flower buttons. Now I am not good at sewing. I can barely actually sew a button back on when it falls off, but these are super cute. And of course you could use them for like scrapbooking or something else crafty, which I also don't do, but maybe you guys can give me some good ideas. I do think they're really, really sweet. And if I do ever get a little craftier and start to use my washi tape and my little ladybug and bee stickies, then Maybe I'll use some of these cute little flowers. You could definitely make these work with those little ladybugs and bees. These are awesome. I'm loving all of the bee jewelry. Um, and these are dangly and they are gold. So they are making me love them. These are some little gold hoops with little dangly bees. These are so adorable and like fancy. You know, I feel like I always kind of give everyone the caveat with this box that like this is not like a super high value like brand name box you're gonna get fun items like whimsical sometimes novelty items things that make you smile that's why I always think that depending on the preferences that you give this is a great box to share with like a teenager or like your grandchild or niece or nephew because they are so fun but like these are actually really nice. Like I feel like Nick's been really good about kind of getting my sort of like subtle, like more try to be refined style. And the pieces that I've gotten have actually been really, really nice. And if you just kind of look at them stand alone, like these would be a great item in like any subscription box in my personal opinion. So those are awesome. I love that. I got like the necklace, I got the earrings, I got the little hairpin. Now it wouldn't be that matchy matchy. You guys know I'm not into being that matchy matchy but you have options and then finally I think this is the last thing let me just make sure it's kind of fun because I've gotten like pillowcases and a lot of these different boxes um, and pillows are such an easy thing to uh, change out for your like seasonal decor which I finally really realized because I'm not one of those people who has like different bins for every season and like really decorates for spring or different holidays but a pillowcase can definitely change things up really easily and the nice thing is is you just have those like fill pillows but then when you have to store the pillowcases that you're putting away it's not like they take up a lot of space right and I have very limited space in my house um, this is so cute and springy and again it's like kind of elegant like I love the colors in that I think it's really really pretty and it could definitely go with like a beachy home which one day I'd like to have my home be a little more like coastal luxury styled um, but I think it actually would go with a lot of different decors even like a very like clean mostly like light colors this could be really pretty in almost anyone's home so let me know you guys like I said I think this is like probably my favorite box that I've actually gotten from Blendbox and I wouldn't have expected that just because I just really thought like bees and butterflies would be like a fun thing to photograph but I think these are really nice items good quality I love the washi tape I love all the jewelry items there's not like one item in here that I'm like I would never use that I don't know what I'm gonna do with it um, let me know what you guys think and definitely consider putting the bee and butterfly box on your checklist if you do decide to subscribe one thing I did want to mention that is important is Nick is so great and so personal so if there's ever a time where you're like I want to stay subscribed but funds are a little bit tight right now you can always just text her and say hey can we skip this month or can we just push my bill date back a little bit and she's really flexible and great about doing that because just remember it does really help subscription companies out when you stay subscribed it's way better for them if you just skip a month versus like canceling and resubscribing just for them to like make sure that they have enough stock for all of their items especially a subscription box like this where she has to have stock for so many different themes at any given moment 
All right, you guys, if you did appreciate this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Please check me out over on Instagram. Please definitely check out the blend box. Make sure that you use the link below versus going through any of the other marketplaces. And hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.